so bags are. So bags are huge. All right. So she's taking. It's so windy. I'm sorry. So she's taking the street glide, and this is what I'm taking. What am I taking? So this is my worry right now. I don't know if it's much of my worry or my hope. <laughs> when we get back, our bikes ain't gonna be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. It's not funny. What's up, baby? What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, are you super busy right now? <laughs> can you uh, teach her how to run that bike quick? <laughs> well, I know how to ride it, but. So. Yes. Uh, you're basically going to find a lot of the things switched around where you used to have them on the right side will be on the left side so on and so forth okay um, but the run switch is up here now uh, we okay. do not have the center toggle okay. anymore so your run switch is right there that is also your start button so you click it down into the on position now if you wanted to start it you would then press it down and hold it uh, off you'll see the screen go off we go one click turns it on and then you press that to start it. Okay. Um, and then on the other, you got hazards. You won't have to use those today. You're not <laughs> going to worry about that. But uh, then you're going to see your, your uh, audio controls over here. Okay. So you've got press, uh, play, and pause in the middle. Up and down is volume. Left and right is song for seeking. Oh, okay. Um, and then you've got your push to talk button over here if you had comms hooked up to the bike. Right. Turn signals are the same. That's one thing that hasn't changed, which I appreciate because it's super simple. So right, left. Yep, okay. right and left. You do have mode over here. So that is going to be for your ride mode. So oh. in this bottom left corner, you'll see we're in sport mode right now. Okay. If I press this again, it goes to a customizable mode, okay. which is mode, or, uh, map A. And then we've got rain mode, which will which make we the- we won't need. You won't need that either. <laughs> That's gonna turn this bike into more of a calm, uh, cool riding bike compared to aggressive fast. Okay, okay. Um, and then next is going to be road mode. This is just nice cruising road. So you guys are on the way to Sturgis, you wanna get some good gas mileage, you're gonna put it on road mode. The bike will maintain best uh, miles per gallon at that, oh. at that stage. Um, and then when you get to where you wanna go, Let's say you get into some twisties and you want to kind of have some fun. You can throw it in the sport mode. You're going to have full throttle response. The ABS system is going to kick back a little bit and let it roll. Uh, you won't have as, as uh, tight of a security for them, um, like um, uh, anti-drag torque slip or the rear end uh, slipping out in the corner. It's still going to protect you. So I recommend sport mode. That's where I like to live, but this is totally up to you. I do highly recommend switching those modes during your ride. Just to see the Just difference. to get a little bit of an idea. Okay. Um, and, and if you're riding down the road straight, obviously if you switch these modes, you're not gonna notice much. So maybe around a corner, before you get to that corner, you could throw it into a sport mode compared to riding down the road. So the you road. don't have to stop the bike to switch the mode. You can switch it to... as you're rolling down okay. the road. Okay, awesome. Yep. Um, now this side is gonna have most of your functions for the screen itself. We have trip meter right here, which will run through some different screens. Trip A, trip B, it has lots of information there. You got tire pressure front and rear. Um, it'll go to a blank mode, so it just has the screen for you. But then you can go to ride information, so ambient temperature, date, the uh, miles left on the tank, oh, wow. uh, and, and then temperature right there is for oil temp. You've got cruise control right here. Push oh. this button in to activate it. You'll see the gauge uh, icon pop okay. up. Then you can uh, set is down towards you. Press that, this will turn green you start cruising at cruise speed. Uh, same like the previous bikes, you roll the throttle forward or tap either of the brakes. If you are gonna pull clutch, you want a fully engaged clutch. Otherwise, if you go okay. just a quarter, it'll start revving up. Okay. Um, and then uh, resume is forward plus XL. Now down here is kind of where the meat and potatoes is. So this is always a back button. That's just kind of nice. They started adding the back button um, just so you can manually go back a screen if you want. Okay. But right here, we're gonna have bring up our widget over here that has all the information. So we've got the gear for settings, the motorcycle for uh, bike information. Okay. We then have navigation. Um, and then wow. as we go down, uh, we have some information for the phone. Uh, and then if I go back here, 
we can continue down. So sound, display, system, ride modes. The ride mode is kind of fun because you see we have road, sport, and rain. We have a custom map here that we can go in and I can select custom settings of how I want to edit this. We're just going to come in and set our own. So if we go to engine map, do we want it in the road characteristics, rain characteristics, oh. or sport characteristics? So in engine map, that means this motor is going to run either more aggressive or less aggressive catering to how you set it up. We can go down to engine braking, same thing. Wow. You can go plus one engine braking, which means as you let off that throttle, the bike's going to slow itself down quicker. If you go to negative one and or minimum, then when you let off that throttle, the bike's engine is going to just roll rather than decelerating on its own. So there's some really cool stuff. Throttle response, traction control, ABS. Uh, there's some really cool features. You can select a, a custom map to set up however you want. I think one of the ways to know, and a lot of people will say, well, how do you know what to set it up right. as? Putting some miles on this thing first. And you'll get you'll get the understanding of how you f uh, fit this bike, how you feel on it. Gotcha. So. Now, the other bikes, mm -hmm. Other street glides, older models. Yep. Do they they don't have all of this, right? They don't have all of this. So the previous street glide models do not have the ride modes. Uh, they have a RDRS system, which okay. was an option, um, but uh, they 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 didn't allow you to critique how that functionality worked. Like this one, you can change your engine braking and your right. throttle response. You weren't able to do that on those. Okay. Um, as well as this screen is now a much larger screen. Right. I mean, we're talking dang near. I think as kids, we might remember these size TVs being in our kitchen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, with the dial on it. They ride so much nicer, their suspension's better, they're lighter weight. Um, and to me, I'm a, I'm a sportier, more aggressive rider. Right. I feel may, way more confident throwing one of these around because of how it responds to me compared to the older ones. Really? So I'm uh, really excited about them and I think a lot of people have been enjoying the heck out of them. Uh, that's why you're seeing so many of them on the road. So. Um, but these new fairings, you know, in 14 when they brought out the Rushmore editions with the vented fairings, right. they were much better than the previous style, right? Same thing with these. They've gotten better as far as the aerodynamics. Okay. Um, you're still going to feel the same wind that you did on the previous street glides as far as around you and stuff. Right. We're not susceptible to not getting any of it. But that being said, the rider pocket on these bikes are really nice too. Um, and so I've, I've been excited to be able to get them down the street a couple times and not as much as I'd like to, not as much <laughs> as you guys are going to today, which I'm really excited to see the feedback, but um, I'm interested in that. I, I've actually heard more people on the road glide saying that they're catching more wind than they thought they did on the previous ones in the street glides. Oh, really? The bow wings have done a really good job, but um, you know, like I said, that windshield could be a really easy fix to change that, that, uh, that ride set up for you. So. Okay. Yeah, and I've you know I've I've always been a, a shark nose road glide guy, um, as much as I can be without ever owning one, just because I've, I've had the pleasure of riding them, uh, you know, at work for 11 years. But right. um, you know, when the time came to buy a bagger, I've always said I don't know if I'll go street glide or road glide, but I always lean towards road glide. Well, the more and more I ride more of these bikes, it's just like, man, it's a really hard choice because I, I really appreciate a lot of the features of the Batwing. Right. I'm a sportier rider, so when I'm in the you know, switchbacks and stuff like that, I feel like this bike's moving with me better because it's turning with me. When I'm on a road glide, I love not having the weight of that front end because I'm short and, and you know it, it gives me more room. It kind of feels right. like more of an open cockpit. But when I'm trying to go in through a corner hard, that feels like it's, it's, I think it's a placebo effect where it feels slower because it's not turning. It doesn't mess with my head, but I just, for some reason, bat wings feel more sporty. But if I'm going for comfort, I would probably go for road glide. So oh. I got to really ask myself, how, how do I want to ride one of these? Well, thank you Absolutely. for going over all of that. Um, I am finance manager. My name is Jace Jackson here at Frontier Harley Davidson. Um, love to take care of any needs that you got coming uh, in motorcycle world. So. Uh, happy to help out. Happy to let you guys ride these things. We're, we're really looking forward to some feedback. Make sure you go follow Stevie Fox. Is it Stevie? Oh. You're fine. That's why I said. That's why I said. But I feel like somebody. All right, we're gonna cut that. Go ahead. <laughs> go follow Stevie Fo on YouTube. Uh, he's got some great content out there, and you can check out my motorcycle on his earlier review that he did. We are pending a future review coming soon. And this setup is the same as this setup. It's Correct. just a different different bike, fairing. Yep. Or different, different fairing. Yep. Correct. Okay. Yep, absolutely. What did I do to it? There we oh, go. <laughs> Struggle bus is real. Is that what you really just said? I did. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna go grab Malik. He's pretty good at this setting stuff on these. I'll be right back. Just like that. Look at that. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so are you gonna introduce yourself for us? What's up, guys? It's Malik here at Frontier. Uh, just got our phone hooked up to the Bluetooth. Let's see if we got the music. So I'm gonna be one of those annoying people going down the road with my radio blaring. Yeah, you're all set to roll. Thank you very much. So this is Rich, he runs the joint. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> this is very cool, we appreciate it. Yeah, we're super excited about having you guys take them out for a ride and get to know them and uh, let everybody else know how they are. We will, she will run them through the paces. That's perfect. She will. That's what we want. I what? What? What did you what? say? Nothing, didn't say a word. I right. said no speeding tickets. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. You Until be Tuesday. Safe. <laughs> yeah. Be safe, have fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. you. All right. So now that we're now that we're completely windblown, let's let's take these things out and hit the road. Okay. Think? Sounds good. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Fresh off the bikes, we are now in uh, Cairo, Nebraska, west of Grand Island. We rode the interstate to Wood River. Oh my gosh, this bike, so good, so good on the interstate. So I don't know if we're gonna switch bikes now or not. Um, I know she's really digging that one and I'm actually really digging the road gliding. There's B right there. So we're gonna run here, grab something to munch on quick and then uh, we'll head to broken bow so we're just splitting a sandwich some pringles and a soda this this bike i mean there's things i would change on it obviously but there are so it, it's it's so good it's i'm not i feel comfortable on it like the instant i got on it i absolutely love the blinkers that's really cool i love that so we rode to wood river on the interstate and then we came north up here to cairo and we were not easy on the interstate <laughs> at all. We're still averaging 40 miles to the gallon because this bike tells us. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's awesome. I have never been on a stock bike and felt this comfortable. 
is what I've been trying to say this whole time. Probably going to edit everything out I just said, and I'm going to say that. I'm thinking um, we're going to have a problem because we've only gone like 100 miles and... on the side of the road here because um, somebody got stung by a bee again. It always happens. Always. Let's go to Broken Bow, which is literally right around that curve. <laughs> <laughs> I came here years ago with my son on his Sportster. Man, this is insane. Everything's burnt. The stairs burnt. They're all gone. And there's nothing to stand on. Get up there. It's all burned. This is crazy. This used to just be trees as far as you can see. Now it's just piles of trees as you can see. Pretty devastating to a national forest. Nebraska's only national forest. Man-made national forest. Kind of a cheating national forest, but it's still a national forest. It's so sad. Well, I 
I'm glad that they're at least doing something with it. We're gonna do the switch. Amy's gonna ride the road glide. And I'm gonna jump on the 24th Street glide for the first time. Okay, so Amy and I switched bikes. Mm -hmm. We're switching back. <laughs> I like the street glide better. And that's crazy because I definitely prefer this to the road glide over the street glide. So we actually agree on something. I don't know if that's necessarily <laughs> fist bump worthy, but we did it. Uh, so we're an hour from Valentine. Um, yeah, we'll show you guys the road on the way up there. Bikes are phenomenal. All right, ready to kick it? Okay, so pretty good day. Uh, picked up some new bikes at Frontier Harley Davidson. Thank you very much to them. Big shout out to them again, everybody there. Uh, the bikes are absolutely phenomenal. Tonight we wanted to go ride them a little bit in the dark, so we started heading towards Mammoth Reservoir and the curves and stuff, going through them 65, 70 mile an hour. Didn't even realize how fast you were going through them <laughs> because the bike can go through them so much faster. Do you agree? Yes. Crazy. It's I don't know what it is about these new bikes. They are the easiest thing to ride I've ever ridden. Tomorrow, we're going to go back on Highway 97, but we're gonna go all the way down to Mullen. So we're gonna go the length of 97, which is hilly and somewhat twisty for Nebraska anyway. These new bikes are absolutely phenomenal. They're not paying us to say that they're great or anything like that. We're not getting paid to do this. They just said, hey, you guys are going on a trip. Do you want to take some new bikes? And we said, of course we said yes. Duh. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, Miss Stevie prefers the street glide, which is perfect because I don't care for it as much, I should say. I No, you know what? I'm going to say it. I don't care for the street glide. If I change the handlebars and stuff, it would be great. But as it sits right now, don't like it. The road glide is phenomenal i wouldn't have to change anything on it the suspension on these new bikes is fantastic what this one's really nice <laughs> stevie likes the That's shark true. skin and that one's the alpine green shark skin oh, sounds yeah. more cool right much more cool now we got kids coming so we're going to wind this up if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool.
and we will see you on the road.